Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to manage external access on Microsoft Teams. So, what is external access? External access is like when you have a users in different domains who need to collaborate. And when you want the people in your organization to use Teams, contact people in specific business outside of your organization or when you want anyone else in the world who uses teams to be able to find and contact you just by using your email address so in Microsoft teams by default external access is turned on which means that your organization can communicate with all external domains. There are three scenarios for setting up an external access in the Teams Admin Center. The first one is Open Federation. The second one is Allow Specific Domains. The third one is Block Specific Domains. Open Federation is, this is the default settings in Teams and we'll see this see if you see this is the default setting in teams and lets the people in your organization find call chat and set up meetings with the people external to your organization in any domain in this scenario your users can communicate with all external domains that are running Teams or Skype for Business and are using Open Federation or have added your domain in their allow list. This is Open Federation. The next one is allow specific domains. By adding domains to your allow list, you limit the external access to only allowed domains. Once you set up this allowed domains, all other domains will be blocked. To, to allow specific domains, you have to click on add a domain and type the domain name, for example, gmail.com. Sorry, gmail.com. Select allowed, click on done. And then you need to click on save so as soon as I click on save what will happen right only from gmail.com users should will be able to contact your teams users all others domains will be blocked this is allowed specific domains the next is block specific domains for that also click on add a domain mention the domain name for example yahoo.com and clicked on blocked so in this scenario I'll, I'll remove this so okay in this scenario by adding the domain in the block list we can you can communicate with all external domains except the one that we have blocked now in this scenario it is yahoo.com so this is the way that you block the domain this is how the external access is working in the microsoft teams thank you for watching our video